If you would like to win a Force FX lightsaber, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell me in the comments what your all-time favorite lightsaber is. There is also an additional giveaway on my Marvel channel. To enter to win a film-accurate, full-scale Infinity Gauntlet, go over to the Marvelous Wave, subscribe, like the video, and tell me in the comments of that video what your favorite Marvel movie is. The giveaway on that channel will last approximately a month. Although the personality and brain of General Grievous perished in Revenge of the Sith at the hands of Obi-Wan Kenobi, this was not the end for the droid general. In truth, his body was actually salvaged following this death, and there was a story that followed concerning Grievous. During the reign of the Empire, although the stormtroopers were the primary form of defense, Palpatine still desired a highly advanced combat droid, a combat droid that he one day desired to integrate into the ranks of the Empire, as droids do not betray their masters. These droids, though, would be unlike any that came before them. In order to advance the project, Palpatine and the Galactic Empire hired a scientist named Nikolai Kinsworth. They did so because recently he had constructed a droid brain on par with that of a human. More than this, instead of training, fighting styles could actually just be downloaded into this new droid brain, as well as how to use certain equipment within the Empire. However, although the brain had been designed, the body had not been, as he was not as familiar familiar with an advanced droid body as he had been with the brains. Because of this, Palpatine offered the scientist a gift. In order to find this gift though, the scientist, as well as several Imperials, ventured to Utapau. In one of Emperor Palpatine's personal storage units, they located this droid. The scientist was then granted permission to study and even use the body of the deceased General Grievous. Instantly, the scientist recognized the body of Grievous and the body of potentially the most most skilled Jedi killer of all time. Over the next several years, the scientist placed the cutting edge droid brain within the body of the deceased General Grievous. What this essentially did was made Grievous completely droid, as the personality of Grievous was long dead, but his body was not. Inspired by Grievous though, the scientist decided to grant him a lightsaber as his primary weapon. This lightsaber though was very unique to the tradition of the Sith, as it contained within it the lightsaber crystal of the apprentice of Darth Bane, Darth Zana. This lightsaber crystal was even named Bane's Heart. Because of this, the lightsaber that this new Grievous wielded, now named NK Necrosis, was a double-bladed red lightsaber. Formerly Grievous, now NK, was meant to be the baseline of what the new combat droid for the Empire was desired to become like. Although NK was a success, around the time the first Death Star was destroyed by Luke Skywalker, he mysteriously went missing. Eventually, it was discovered that the droid had gone rogue and was stolen by Kinsworth's close friend, Lorne. Lorne being a scientist himself who had worked on making Grievous NK. In order to reobtain the body of NK from Lorne, Kinsworth sent a group of bounty hunters to hunt down NK. In their search for NK, the bounty hunters eventually found themselves in the caves of Madrill. Within the cave, they searched for hours for the body of NK, including the artifact of Bane's heart. Although retrieving NK had been the primary objective of the team, they full well knew that the Bane's heart crystal was extremely valuable and could make them rich for the rest of their lives. As they searched though, suddenly the group was was attacked by NK as he slaughtered several of the bounty hunters. The hunters were extremely surprised that NK even functioned, as they had been told earlier by the scientists that he would have been deactivated at this point. Faced with no other option, all of the bounty hunters teamed up on NK and managed to destroy the droid, with Lorne fleeing deeper into the depths of the cave. With the body of the extremely advanced NK Necrosis now completely decimated, the bounty hunters took what was left. This included the rare Bane's heart crystal as well as the mask that had once belonged to General Grievous. They then took these artifacts and sold them on the black market, with it being heavily rumored that Grand Admiral Thrawn eventually purchased the mask of Grievous. He did so as a reminder of the might of the Jedi Killer and his great role played within the Clone Wars. As for what happened to the lightsaber crystal of Bane's heart is completely unknown. This though marked the complete end of General Grievous, as although 
although his brain had been destroyed by Obi-Wan Kenobi, his body had lived on until this point. This also marked the end of Palpatine's plans to integrate droids within the Empire, as NK was a complete failure. But what are your thoughts on the story of General Grievous, or at least the story of his body, after Revenge of the Sith, and that he came back in the form of NK Necrosis, now completely a droid, and no longer a cyborg at all? Did you guys know about this before this video, and if so, what are your thoughts on the fact that Grievous returned to some extent following Revenge of the Sith? Thank you guys as always so much for watching, don't forget to enter the lightsaber giveaway, may the force be with you, and have a great day.